Welcome back, Burnout Teachers. Today's lesson will be about how to teach Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is a very special time of year for many, especially for kids who get excited that they don't have to be at school and that they get to be with family and eat and share a meal together. I think there is a way that we can preserve the things that we love about Thanksgiving, but I think that we also need to really be aware of this very brutal history that is behind it and that is part of a myth related to American history. My name is Jossie Ross. I come from the Amstapi Bugani Nation. The mythology of Thanksgiving closely mirrors the mythology of America. That closely mimics the mythology of white America. It is how America wants to see itself. In the mainstream education system, as I was taught when I was young, is that the pilgrims came to the United States and they were welcomed by the Native Americans and they sat and they ate together. And this is a very false history. The truth, of course, of Thanksgiving is much different. The truth is pilgrims did not bring turkey, sweet potato pie, or cranberries to Thanksgiving. They could not. They were broke. They were broken. Their hands were out. They were begging. They brought nothing of value. We're often projected this idea that our country is based in democracy and freedom when really our country was based and rooted on the genocide of native peoples on the backs of slaves instead of bringing stuffing and biscuits those settlers brought genocide and violence that genocide and violence is still on the menu as state-sponsored violence against Native and Black Americans is commonplace. Indigenous and Black people are still being murdered by those paid to protect us. Of course, that's something that you're not necessarily going to get into the gruesome details of with young kids, but I think it's important as a starting point to really expose them to Native American culture and books that are written by Native Americans so that it's giving agency to them and that kids get used to hearing about this history from Native Americans as opposed to them being passive victims who were just brutalized and then people speak on their behalf. What happens when something is happening that is not fair? and that somebody's land is taken from them or someone's house is taken from them. And that being a central point for kids to begin, begin to understand what is fair and what isn't and what we must do when something happens that is not fair. And when we understand that our history is grounded in white supremacy and inequality and lack of justice for all people, when we make kids aware of this, we really are teaching them tolerance and understanding from a young age. In your classroom, definitely talk about what you're thankful for and teaching kids about gratitude and about humility. I think those are very important values to teach your kids early on. But just make sure that that's not the way in which we then ignore a very brutal and sad history that has happened in our country. Return the land, match the mythology, then and only then we can all be equally thankful.